Hello everybody and welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Adobe Media Encoder. And Adobe Media Encoder is one of those programs that a lot of people miss in the Creative Cloud collection. And I wanted to talk about how you can use it to your advantage. Now there's a couple of ways that you can use Media Encoder, but what I personally like to do is use it coming from Premiere Pro. I make a lot of videos in Premiere Pro and I'm always pretty busy. And I find that a lot of times when I'm trying to render files out, it takes a lot of time and it takes a chunk out of my day. And so if you're making videos for a course or maybe you're making videos for different applications, sometimes it can eat up a lot of your time. And uh, I started thinking back to grad school and talking to one of my classmates, one of the upperclassmen, and I asked him, I said, what advice do you have for someone coming in? And he told me to only sleep when you're rendering. Now, modern rendering doesn't allow for that anymore, but it's a situation where what I can do is I can set up multiple renders to happen during lunch or if I'm in a meeting or I need to be away from my computer. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. So here I am in Premiere Pro. Down here at the bottom, I have three files open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, instead of going to export here, I'm going to go to File, Export. And then File, Export, Send to Media Encoder, right here. So I'm gonna send that to Media Encoder. I'm gonna go to this one, File, Export, Send to Adobe Media Encoder. And one more, File, Export, send to Adobe Media Encoder. I already have Media Encoder open. If you don't have Media Encoder open, this will pop Media Encoder up and you'll see something like this. Here in Media Encoder, we can see our files are all here. And when we're ready to render these out, you can simply come over here and push Q and it'll automatically start rendering all these out. So it'll do a whole bunch at the same time. So if you're teaching and you're chunking videos and you have a bunch of five minute chunks and you wanna render them all out, you can do this very easily. If you're working on content for YouTube and you're doing a whole bunch of videos, you can do this very easily. Another thing that I like this for is to actually set up content for different sources. So here I'm setting these all up as H.264s, um, but if I hit this drop down here, you can see there's different settings in here. So if I needed a different setting for a different application, I could do that. Also over here in this preset browser, there are presets for things like broadcast. If you needed to send this to broadcast, uh, you can see I have H.264 open because that's what I was using, but we also have QuickTime, DV, devices, DVD, Blu-ray, image sequences. There's all these different settings right here. And I can simply go on here and say, oh, social media. I need this to be a video for, it still says Twitter, but let's say I needed it for Twitter or maybe I wanted it for uh, 1080p YouTube. I can simply pull this over onto that video and you can see that it'll make a YouTube version as well. So it will render multiple various uh, files of this version. So you can easily go ahead and produce a lot of content. So if you're doing a lot of social media content that allows you to produce that without going back into Premiere Pro and rendering and rendering and rendering, you can render all these things at once. Again, step away from the computer, come back and be ready to rock and or roll. Speaking of rendering, that's what I'm about to do to this video. But I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you back next week for another quick tip.